Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make this center sign card using the Holiday Signs by Pretty Pink Posh, the Toboggan Together by Lawn Fawn, and some nesting square dies which I bought from eBay. So I'm taking the largest square die from that set and I've just die cut this already on some white cardstock using my cartridge paper. Everything will be linked in the description box so hopefully the links work and you can find them a lot easier. So I'm just going to be taking my stamping platform and my cartridge paper again and my to my tuxedo black ink. I do stamp this a couple of times but for some reason my paper moved and I didn't really notice and then when I restamped it it was in a different alignment so I ended up having to restamp my Santa so maybe I need stronger magnets I'm not entirely sure I don't know why it moved so as you can see the first impression didn't work so that's why I love using my stamping platform because it's just a great way of getting the same lineup and precision but obviously as you can see it stamps in a different place this time so it ended up like ruining that so I ended up just re-stamping it and once I've done that I'm just going to clean it and put my stamp away so I can't lose them because I have done that a few times where I've stamped something not put it away immediately and then lost it so I'm now just going to take the Christmas tree from Toboggan Together and I'm just going to use some Memento Dew Drops and I'm going to be using bamboo leaves and I'm going to stamp this twice but I ended up stamping it once thinking that I only were going to use three trees in my background but I ended up stamping two of each colour that way I had like a symmetrical thing going um, obviously you do this to your own preference and how you think it looks so you could do all the trees in the same color i was like contemplating whether or not adding glitter to the ends of the trees just so it looked like snow had fallen but i didn't really want to put too much into this card i just wanted to have a simple card where adding every little thing like glossy accents glitter it was just not going to be a simple card anymore so I'm now just taking cotton cottage ivory which is a darker green as you can see which is a, I think more of a Christmas tree color but that's just my personal opinion let me know down in the comments what you think which green looks more Christmassy so there you go I stamped another one in this cotton ivory and I thought well you know I'm gonna end up needing another one just for the symmetrical look so I ended up taking the bamboo leaves again and just stamping that. How can I feel the joy of being with you? How can I chase the pain away for good? Is calling me. Holy snow, so I'm now colouring in my sense so the colours will be on screen along with a time frame where to skip to to go past the colouring. For you It'll never start without you, never start without you. Christmas is all about you. I see everywhere around the fairies of December. You Christmas is waiting for you 
coordinating dies from the holiday sign set and I'm just going to die cut the tree and the center. Once I've done that I'm just going to bring back in the square tag that I cut earlier and I'm just going to color this in later. Um, I'm just going to take a paper stack this is from the works I don't know if you can still buy it but if I can find it I will link it. So I'm just going to take this red Christmas tree as a background I love doing this, it just cuts out a lot of time and I just think it looks so much better than probably what I could draw or paint or whatnot. So this is a great alternative if you're not very artistic in that sense. But So I'm just going to draw down the side where I need to trim it, that way I'm not cutting off too much or too less. I really need to buy a guillotine that <laughs> can cut a straight line because I'm not 100% good at that. So there we go. So I'm just going to use some double sided tape and I'm just going to adhere that to the card base and then my background is done. Santa baby, I really do believe in you. Christmas is waiting for you. Never start without you, never start without you. Christmas is all about you. I see everywhere around the fairies of December. You So now I've done that, I'm just going to work out my placement. So I'm just going to colour in my square tag using pastel blue. If you have blue cardstock you could do this but you will see now in my videos I tend to just stick with buying white cardstock and then just colouring it in. I just think it's a lot better for me because I use a lot of ink colouring wise but I don't use a lot of different coloured papers and I don't necessarily have the storage room for it that's why I stick with white cardstock because I can make it any colour I want so as you can see I just went in one direction and then I'm going to go in a different direction just to cancel out the lines that appear and it also makes this a little bit darker and 
So I'm taking one of the hillside die set and I'm just going to take one and I'm just going to cut a small hill out of some white cardstock. So as you can see I'm just working out what part of the hill I want and once I've done that I'm going to run it through my die machine and then I cut it down just to fit my square tag but I'm working out like which, which bit of the hill I want and then I'm going to bring in my Santa so he's standing on top of the snow and then I'm going to work out where my trees go in the background of this so I have an idea. As you can see I'm like I don't know what to do with him and I'm like do I want my trees all at the same level? Do I want them in overlapping? So I didn't know if I wanted to be able to see the entire tree or did I want it to be behind Santa. So as you'll see I do change it a little bit a bit further on. But I think it turned out great the way it did. So I guess it's just your own personal touches that you like to do and what looks good to your eye but as you can see I've just moved the trees over and then I ended up overlapping those two trees because I wanted you to be able to see most of the tree just not all of it and I'm struggling to pick things up because they just seem to adhere to my my craft mat there you go so I have an idea now of where things are going to go so I end up cutting down my snowbank and I brought my dot liner in and I don't know why because I didn't end up using it f for the snowbank I'm just placing a little pencil mark so I know where my trees are going to go and then I bring in my 3D squares to adhere my snowbank just so my trees can sit in the background so yeah. This will forever be the wonders of Christmas. Christmas is ready for you. It'll never stop without you. Never stop without you. Christmas is all about you. I see a mirror around. Fairies are the sound of you. I see a mirror around. Fairies are the sound of you. take my dot roller to adhere the trees to the background and then I also use the 3D foam tape to adhere my sensor to the card as you'll see. It's all about you. I see everywhere around the fairies of December. You. I see everywhere around the fairies of December. You. Santa baby, I really do believe in you. Christmas is waiting for you. It'll never start without you, never start without you. Christmas is all about you. I see everywhere around fairies of December. You Once I've done that I'm just going to take the Merry Christmas sentiment from the Holiday Sign set 
and my Dewdrop Memento ink and I'm just going to stamp that onto the little sign in front of him. So I just made sure I had enough ink because last time I did this I didn't and it was a very bad I'm trying to find a way to line that up. So there we go. So there's my Santa. So I'm just going to clean that and put it back so I have an idea of where that is. And that's what my card is going to look like. So I'm just going to take the 3D squares and adhere into my card. So I have doubled these up just so his head didn't sort of like sink into the background. I don't post any of my cards. I generally give them to family and friends. So, you know, if I see them in person, then it's just easier. And I was trying to adhere his little like ball on the end of his hat so I ended up cutting one of the foam squares in half just so you couldn't see it behind it so I really need to buy some different sizes but obviously I don't have a lot of room to work with so I'm trying to just like buy things that I can work with and just change so that is the card so I'm just going to use some double sided tape to adhere that to the card blank itself and then I do end up heating bossing the Happy Holiday Sentiment using the Distress Embossing Ink and some Wow Optic Bright White Embossing Powder. Have you wrote your list to get up for good? Hurry down the chimney. I wait impatiently for you, my Santa baby. I really do believe in you. Christmas is waiting for you. It'll never start without you. Never start without you. Christmas is all about you. I see everywhere around the fairies of December. You. In the trees, the smell of chestnut boiling under heat, and I remember dreaming buried in a comfy blanket that I will never forget. When I was waiting for the snow to fall to make a giant snowman, my heart was jingling over and over. I won't forget the snowman, I won't forget those years, an amazing time, my love. This will forever be the wonders of Christmas. Christmas. Off screen, and then I just bring back it 
the holiday sentiment and I just stamped that. And that is the finished card, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe, like and comment, and I'll see you in my next video. Hope you guys are all safe and well. Bye guys!